read the Constitution of the State of Tennessee, it says plainly, judges shall be elected by the qualified voters of the state, period. Now, I'm going to be right up front with you. I, I, I've somewhat evolved over this. I've always kind of worried about this, but, but as you know, I ran for governor, and for 17 months, I traveled around the state, running for governor, spent literally 70% of my time raising money by design, living on a telephone, that's what it takes, raised over $3 million, and still came up about $15 million from being governor. That's <laughs> <laughs> like figure about $15 million short. And so, so is that really what we want our, our people that are going to be Supreme Court justices to do it, running statewide? In today's world, probably not. That's not what we need them doing. But folks, the Constitution is the Constitution, and when we start trying to get around that Constitution, we're wrong. A few years back, this Judicial Selection Commission, Nominating Commission, retention ballots that we're operating under passed the General Assembly way before I was down there. And then two Supreme Courts have upheld that retention ballots are the same as an election. I mean, any common sense person sitting in this room knows that in 1870, we came back into the Civil War after the, 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 we, uh, when we rejoined the Union, we, we started our new Constitution we're living under now, and when they, when they put in that Constitution that judges shall be elected by qualified voters of the state, they did not mean retention ballots. And when the Supreme Court did this, they, they had to step aside and they appointed a special five-person uh, Supreme Court that they appointed to, to figure out if we were retention ballots really elections. But well, lo and behold, they ruled that they were. Who would ever thought that? I mean, come on. This, this, this is conflict of interest if there ever was conflict of interest. So we got two choices right now. We either need to be electing our Supreme Court justices, like, the, like, the, like our Constitution says, or change the Constitution. That is the system that's set up. You just don't, by willy-nilly, decide you want to change the Constitution by judicial activism. That's what's going on in the state of Tennessee right now. There are 13 states that have adopted a retention ballot type election. 13 states. 12 of those did that by the proper way. They changed the Constitution. The people got to vote on it. They changed the Constitution. We didn't do that in Tennessee. We took it straight to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court ruled, and you, as the people of the state of Tennessee, did not get a chance to decide if you want your constitution changed or not.